It's summertime and the beaches are filling up with people enjoying the waves, the sun, and in many cases, a beer. Chris Gove wants people to protect marine life while drinking beer. It was that desire that led Gove and a partner ad agency to come up with the idea for edible, biodegradable beer rings. Gove owns Saltwater Brewery, a small craft beer company in South Florida. Instead of shipping off the barley and wheat used to brew beer to ranches for cattle feed, the company has come up with a method to mold the spent grains into what basically amounts to fish food. The plastic rings used to package the world's most popular alcoholic beverage is a menace to marine life. Birds, sea turtles, as well as other sea creatures get tangled in the rings or mistake it for food. More than a million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals die from plastic pollution every year. Edible packaging and utensils aren't new, but applying the concept to beer packaging is. Since releasing a video showcasing the edible rings earlier this month, the idea has gotten a lot of attention, enough to actually start making a difference. I have over 150 different breweries, including the large guys, wanting to get on board right away. So it's there. It's a matter of figuring out the, um, the scaling side and making it a reality. Gove and his team are now in the process of applying for patents and developing a way to scale the process up. We've run the numbers and, the, and the, it, it looks very cost effective, especially on a scaling side since the brewers have already invested in it. So um, getting the product, there's no raw material cost. It's just, it's already there. So the, it becomes quickly, you know, a lot less expensive to run. Even at a slightly higher cost point, Gove believes people will pay the difference. With summer soon in full swing, Gove is going to brew a lot of beer, content in the knowledge that its packaging could feed a turtle as opposed to harming it.